Hello, welcome back. In the last video, we discussed about Selenium IDE and I hope you have already installed your Selenium IDE plugin to the Firefox. In this video, we are going to discuss a sample use of Selenium IDE. We are going to do a very small recording and I just want to explain on you know how recording works and how all this Selenium IDE fits into the picture. Okay, so in order to do that, I want to show you a demonstration where I have to go to my Mozilla Firefox. And since I have already installed Selenium IDE, so if I go to Firefox Web Developer, I should see something like Selenium IDE. So let's click on that. So right now, in the right hand in the right hand side, I'm showing you Selenium IDE, and in the left hand side, I'm showing you the Firefox. So essentially, you have your Firefox and this is your IDE Selenium IDE so what you are going to do you are going to do a couple of steps on the Firefox so here is here you are okay and let's say you want to search in orbis.com the flight details so in in that case probably you are going to do these steps like you want to open the Firefox browser and go to the URL then there will be a couple of buttons where you want to click on the flights only button and then you enter data like from which city you want to travel to which city you want to travel your leave date and return date and then you click on the search flight and if you do all these five steps then it will probably show you the the price like for, for your flight uh, itinerary okay so essentially in the first time you the human you're going to do this thing on the Firefox and that time since Selenium ID is is up and and running so Selenium ID is going to listen to your 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 steps and then it's going to do some recording some keep some information here so that it will keep track of what you are doing and after that you are gone so no more the human and then you tell selenium okay now you go and drive the firefox okay so what you are saying here is that the first step whatever you did that is called recording okay so in the recording human is involved and human is teaching selenium ide what steps to do then the second step is replaying so human being is out then IDE is basically driving the Firefox that is what is the basics of Selenium automation okay so let's see how can we teach Selenium to record orbis.com so the first step is you have to click on this button so that's called recording button so right now it is recording if I if I click on this thing then it will stop recording I don't want to do that because I want to keep recording Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to go, I'm going to the website called orbits.com. Then what, what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on flights only. So the moment I click here in flights only, are you seeing there are a couple of things come up in the in the in the IDE? So that means whenever I whenever which means that Selenium ID take a note of what I'm doing. Okay, and essentially because of this information, whatever it's capturing right now, it can replay later on. So let's put the from city and let's say I want to travel from San Francisco. Okay, so the moment I did San Francisco, look at this, something else happened here. Same thing, let's go back to the city to city and let's say I want to go to Los Angeles. Okay, so the moment I do Los Angeles, did you see like there's something called Los Angeles came here. Then let's go to the city, you know, the, the date when I leave. Let's say I want to leave on 11 November 01 2012 so the moment I click on November 01 2012 then it record that leave date similarly I'm going to say I'm going to return on November 10 2012 and then so what I'm saying is that so I, I put an enter date and leave date and then when I click on this thing it's also keep track tracks of the date when I'm returning then what I'm going to do I'm going to search flight okay the search flights is finished so now this is actually I teach selenium how to do these six steps so now let's stop recording and let's understand what happened okay so so basically before that let me save this thing say like file save uh, save test case so let's say this is my flight search Okay, so I said my uh, the script as a as called flight search. Okay, so so let's uh, close the browser, 
Okay, so this is the the flight search test case, and let's say like you know we have recorded already. So right now let's try to do a replay. So when the replay, like you know, basically this, this you know here's the button. Like you know, I, you know this button tells how fast you want to replay. So essentially let's take it to the middle and try to do a replay. So, so it is almost replayed and then it's giving a result 176. See, I'm not doing anymore. So Selenium is doing that right now. So let's do a one more time replay. And if you see, like, you know, I'm going to start from this command. And whenever the command is going to go, the color is going to change. Okay. So take a note of it now in a slow motion again. So the first command, see, is opening right now. It's clicking and typing the dates. And it's now going to do a search. Okay, so we got this result 176.59 is the ticket. So basically, what I am what I have shown you here right now is that using Selenium IDE, I I automate the process. And what is that process? That process is these seven steps, and these seven steps are correspondingly matched with Selenium IDE. Something like open means open the target is slash. Then I am doing click on flight. So if you look at this command is click and then it's doing something else. Okay. So let's try to explore what is what is really these things are. Okay. So this is the ID that, that you are seeing here. So what you're seeing in this area, so in this area this is called test case pen. Okay. So this is called test case pen. And here for the flight search test case, we have all these things are called steps. Okay. So this is also known as test step pen. Okay, and then a test, the a step is divided into three parts. The first thing is command, second thing is target, third thing is value. Okay, so let's try to understand what is it, what does it mean. So let's say whenever you say your step name is click on flights only radio button. So that means you are you are basically going to this browser. Okay, you are going to this browser and you are what you are doing is you are trying to locate where is the flight only button is there okay and once you recognize where the flight only button is there then you click on that okay so that means you are doing you are trying to figure out two things here you are trying to see where okay so where is your element available on the website and then what operation that you are going to do so that in selenium lingo is called command okay so command means what needs to be done and the target means where that command needs to be done okay and then the third thing is value so value is a optional parameter okay so value is an optional parameter and it doesn't really require you know what kind of value that i want to give for example in case of a click i don't need any value but in case of from i need to i need to find out three things here like i need to do a type so that is what i need to do and also i need to know where i need to do and that where is is the form and then what is the value so that is that is that is what is means that in some cases i need three parameters in some cases only these two parameters is enough okay so this is what the test case pen is, is saying you and then if you click on a particular element okay so let's go to here and then let's try to click on this type sfo say for example you do not like sfo you want to go some something else let's say we want to make it to los angeles which is lax is the is the code and then instead of going to destination lax let's say we want to go to uh, dallas fort worth or dfw okay so now basically what i what I, what I have done here i told selenium that i i went to this this individual step and then i can modify at a later point of time i also can modify the time I can also modify the departure date and anything that we are seeing the data I can also modify. So what does it mean? It means that a command or a step can be modified at a later point of time. Okay. And then whatever the modified value, whenever I'm going to replay this thing, it will take those value and then, then put those things into the, uh, into that uh, application.